Greetings fellow HR assassins. Now that we've scrubbed this promotion list, I'm going to throw in some freebie stuff and just kind of show you a few quick wins that you can do with Access to calculate your percentages. Excuse me for that. Let's uh, get back over here. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's tally up the percentages, the Army selection rate versus my division's selection rate and let's tally up what the delta is between the two so let's go ahead and close that let's go into form design and we're gonna just we're gonna, we're gonna use text box to calculate all of this information so let's center it So I want to know the, the number of people that competed in division, the number of people selected in division, and then I'll calculate the percentage. And we'll do the same thing for the Army, the number of people that competed in the Army, the total number of people selected, the Army selection rate. So let's go ahead and clean up. this competed let's call this selected let's call this select percentage let's put a couple of labels up here division and please bear with me I'm not going to clean this up too much. I mean, you guys will clean it up how you want to complete it. I mean, clean it up. So, select percentage. And let's put one last text box down here that says... deviation so the number of people let's 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 figure out the total number of people that competed in the army and I can do that by going here to what's called my control source And I can say this equals D count. Count what? Count the names on what's the name of that query? FY Sergeant First Class list and if I close that then what I now get is 23,946 individuals competed so let's go in a layout view which will still allow me to type here so to figure out the total number in my division that competed we're going to say equals D count name from query count all the names from query sergeant first class list and I should get about a hundred or so however many people in the division yeah 102 so we're good so next the number of selected so let's go back here and copy this formula because the only difference in the people that competed and the people that selected people that were selected is adding a where condition where sequence number 
is not null, meaning where it's not blank. And there were 21 individuals selected, so it's working. So to calculate that for the Army, the Army people that were selected, let's go to that text box, give it a control source, and where we want to look is the FY underscore SFC underscore list. So I want to look in that list, count the names in the Sergeant First Class list where the sequence number is not blank. So 5,999 staff sergeants were selected for Sergeant First Class. So that is working. Now in order to calculate the percentage, it's just the selects divided by the number of people that competed and that will give me my percentage. So if I go here, this is text two and this is text zero. So all I gotta do is come here and change the control source equal to text 2 divided by text 0 format it as a percent and there was a 20.59 percent select rate so to calculate the select rate for the army I need to take text 8 which I get the name right here it's the same thing as taking a cell in Excel A1 B1 and referencing it text 8 divided by text 6 so let's go here and type equals text 8 divided by text 6 Oops. format as a percent and the army select rate was 25 percent so text 4 versus text 10 to calculate the deviation equals text 10 minus text 4 as a percentage and the deviation is 4.46 percent lower than the Army's standard of 25 percent so there, real quickly, we have just used access to calculate the percentages of selects and non-selects within our organization. And you can do a whole lot more with access if you're actually interested in it. So again, to finish this, I've calculated the percentages of the selects and non-selects for my division. If you wanted to know the non-selects, you just add another text box and subtract the number of competed from the number selected and that will tell you the number of non-selects that you have. So again, I'm posting this to the HR Assassins only. Um, it'll be on AG2, but only if you got the link. So if you share the link with somebody, cool, they can see it. But otherwise, I'm not publishing it. This was just something extra that I wanted to do to share with some of the HR assassins that follow kind of what we're doing and what we keep up with. So thank you for following along. Have a great day.